know if you can see it. Well, I know you can see it on the mountains. It snowed more last night. And I'm sitting here and I'm like, oh, I see a random little snowflake falling. It's South Carolina snow. So yeah, it, it exists up here too. It's really hard to tell. I just saw a few flakes go in front of the camera. But anyways. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so the temperature says it, it's 37, but it feels like 27. And we're riding ATVs today, so four wheelers. They said they give us a snowmobile suit. Um, so, I don't know. I was debating whether or not to wear snow pants. Probably will because it is cold and the wind is blowing. so pretty. So Spitz Bergen is uh, the region up uh, here. Um, Barsberg over here. So these are the two Russian settlements. You have uh, New Orlesund, which is a Norwegian research uh, settlement uh, up uh, here and a small Polish research uh, settlement uh, down on the south. And that's it for settlements on an uh, island roughly the size of uh, Denmark. Um, so we are here in the complete uh, middle. And the idea today is to follow the road into the island of Bali. Now we're pretty used to the weather changing a lot uh, and quickly and of course the, um, the conditions changing. Uh, Good morning. You ready? We're locked and loaded. We're going on the ATVs. Yeah. You had to go to the bathroom. No. Yeah, I'm totally not going to the bathroom. I just went. There's a guide. The guide. Yeah. So, very cool. When we come back, I'll take pictures. Okay, so there's a mine over there. Number seven. Brooklyn won't let me record while I'm driving, so you just get still shot. We are at the top of the mountain. Check out that view. Like driving up it was just so beautiful. It's nice to see a different perspective than what we've been seeing. Shield. It is insane blasted and scratched. That's why it's so hard to see. Visibility? No visibility. Brooklyn's like, why do you keep like bending over on the ground? What did you say? Oh, I'm not going so fast. She can't handle it. She thinks I'm a crazy driver. I'm on the ground. Right? 
What do you think? I love it. Love it? I know. They're so cute. There they go. Right. They're so excited to run. I think. And that's where all the moms are? Is that what he said? Yeah. So in Svalbard, they have 500 commercial huskies and 500 private huskies. And so, it's a lot of huskies. All huskies have to remain on leash at all times. Um, so you, the other dogs up here do not, so. But when the huskies retire, they get um, relocated to people's homes here and they cuddle on the couch all day. All right, we gotta hop back on our ATVs, go back to town. All right. We're going into the building where we're gonna get undressed with our lovely clothes. And, uh, yeah. Then we'll be driven back to wherever we want to go. That was cool. Cool adventure. I wish I was recording while we were going, but I didn't want to drop the phone. Brooklyn found a swing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe we can find a bigger one. Oh, well, we've got that one. Hop in. How is it? No, <laughs> I'm not getting in that. Okay. Here, smile. That is the Svalbard um, College. That's also where the museum is, where we're going. It's just beautiful. I wish we were out on the water today. Yes, there's a path. Okay, check that out, guys. Alright, so first you come in and have to read a bond. 
much. See the ocean currents. Alright, this is a real polar bear. He's not gonna get me. It's okay, guys. No worries. Look how big his paws are. This one looks so scary. Next to him is a marble ball. Toss. Watch that forever to sleep. <laughs> Put my hand on the globe and made it get warmer. And now the ice is melting. Come stand next to the reindeer so we can show perspective here. See, they're not that big. Good job posing. Here, go stand next to the polar bear. Yep, so you can see the size. You're a snack to him. Guys, did you see the little? I want to play with the reindeers. If you wanted to, you can crawl through the pretend mine right here. Brooklyn didn't want to go for it. Because the other guy is there. The pretend model. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that one. This is a very interactive exhibit. You can use these special brushes to uncover a fossil. Or, you know, you. or your foot or your hands. You're supposed to do this. The little sign says you can. 
You're supposed to do this. Hi. Yeah. All right, we're headed up to the Husky Cafe. Hopefully it won't be too busy. It's been busy the other time we were here and it was just uncomfortable. We barely got a spot to sit. What did you get? Bread. Is it good? Yeah, it nice. good. Mm -hmm. There you go. Cause you, you know, there's both good. Ooh, what did you get? Uh, rhubarb cake. <laughs> Again, and I get an avocado, which is expensive. With gelato. You mean deliciousness? We'll see. Have a good. Oh, that's a skip moving. He's gonna get a picture of him. How was your um, hot chocolate? It was amazing. Amazing. Are you ready to leave? Yes and no. I'm yeah. ready to leave, but go home. Not like leave to go to somewhere. Yeah, well, we got another like two weeks of this trip. Yay! A week and a half. We're in the Faroes for five days. I know. Long time. All right. Let's, let's head out. As cold as it is, it is just beautiful tonight. And I really wish that we were out on the water because it is like golden, beautiful. You can tell just from the time we got here, like over a week ago, that it was not even this color at all ever at night. And it's get, slowly getting darker and darker. But also on another note, this is what the police cars look like. We haven't seen any of them till just now. I was like, oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> 